All right, here we go. Guys, keep it down. All right, so first thing you're gonna do, Jordan, is you are going to highlight each section on this and group it. So you highlight this section and you group it. You press this group button right here. Okay, so I'm recording this, so don't ask questions because you can just go back and look at the recording. All right, so this section is uh, grouped, all right? And then you want to do this section down here, group that one, and you want to do the section right here, group this one. All right, so nice and grouped. Next, sec next thing you want to do is you want to bring this up, the bottom piece right here, bring it up. Hey, uh, bring the bottom, the bottom piece up like this. And let's see, yeah, that looks good right there. And then this one you're going to rotate just move your mouse a little outside like that and then hold the shift key down when you're doing it so it constrains at the 45 degree angle. So we'll bring that, put it right here. Right there, perfect, okay? All right, now, the next thing is we're gonna kind of work this with the free transform tool. So we'll click right here. I'm gonna click on this pin, the puppet warp tool, and below it is the free transform tool. That's what we're looking for. And notice if you move your mouse over this selection point right here, you get this funny double arrow. Once you get that, drag down, not sideways, drag down so you warp it. See that, how it warps? You don't want to go, you want to go a little less than halfway down and make it even with the bottom part like this. All right? Then I'm gonna take the rotation tool, click on that. The rotation tool has a pivot. It's in the middle right now. I want the pivot in this lower corner right here, the lower left side. And then I'm gonna, once it's there, I don't need to click on anything with the rotation tool. I just need to click and drag and rotate it. So that looks pretty good right there. Looks good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take the black selection tool, select this down here, go back. After I select it, go back to my free transform tool and I'm gonna click on the double arrow again, wait till I get the double arrow with my free transform tool like I did before at the top. And now I'm just gonna go up like this and look, check it out. I'm gonna go right here, make it even with the box like that. Okay, that part's done. And then the final part is this one. So I click on that. I go to free transform. I'm gonna get the double arrows here. I click on it and drag it up like that. If you have a problem like clicking and dragging like this and it's not going up, click away from it, click on it with the black selection tool and then go back to the free transform and try it again. Now that it's all together, I'm gonna highlight it all like this. I'm gonna go ahead and hold the shift key down, size it like that so it fits in there better, bring it up a little bit. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put my name right down here like that. Um, it's in a font that I don't have, so I'm gonna change the font. Just go with Myriad Pro. I'm gonna make it my name a little bit bigger so I can see it. Put it right there. Save it. File save. And then I'm gonna go file export to export it as a PNG for my website. And then I'm gonna go to file save as and save it as a PDF. That way I can um, print it anywhere. Now, just to let you know, sometimes the PDF doesn't print right. That happened to mine. So what I suggest is if the PDF doesn't print right, you try printing the PNG or JPEG. It may not be as good as quality, although mine was good quality. All right? And then that's it.